know what? Fuck it. Two episodes for Tuesday, Janu- January. <laughs> June 11th. That's how you know it's been a busy day. June. Is it even 11? Nah, June 15th. Fuck, it's been a busy day. I suppose one could even question whether or not this even counts as a proof of life. When your days start blurring, when the dirt starts adding up, piling up, accumulating at your feet, you start to you start to question uh, you start to question reality, really. You start to question just how much, how eventful can one day be? Truth be told, they could be fucking super eventful. Did I learn something today? Absolutely. I'm going to put that down right now. I will put that down right now. And that is to appreciate the point man. Appreciate the point man. In every squad, there is a point man. And I feel uh, this might be a recurring theme as well. I've just reworded it and using a different concept for it, being the point man, where on every team, you can't all be leaders, correct? Question mark. Suppose you have a team of leaders. I mean, one of them has still got to be the lead for that team of leaders. One of them has got to be the point man. You got to appreciate them. You have to value them. It might be you. Appreciate yourself. Value yourself. Know what you are worth. Understand. Understand the benefits, the advantages, the value that comes with being a point man. The kind of leverage you have as the point person, the person at the point. You might be managing a project, overseeing an operation, pitching an initiative. And if you're the point man, you're necessarily conducting the fucking orchestra, making sure all the instruments are in tune, even though, again, if you're an orchestra full of leaders then everybody's instruments will be in tuned they will make sure of that because they know how to lead together and the point person just ensures makes sure that the required instruments that the select instruments the instruments selected for some piece of music come in at the appropriate time. The appropriate instruments for the appropriate time. And if that's not analogous to being a capable point man, I I don't know what you want me to say. Either you understand it or you don't. Let me explain it further. The point man conducts the orchestra. They're at the top, they're at the head. And it's not all glory. It definitely isn't all advantage. It's not all benefit. It isn't all payout and windfall. No, no. You see, the point man conducting the orchestra also takes on a lot of risk, takes on a lot of liability, potential liability, not immediate liability. Just because they're the point man doesn't mean that they have to be, uh, that they're responsible for a shitty team. No. I mean, the team has already been vetted for professionalism, for capacity, for capability and expertise, what have you. What the point man is making sure of 
is that everybody is in line, is in tune, is in sync on the same page. And even if there is a little variance, the point man, i.e. the conductor of the orchestra, knows which instruments to address and have them either pipe up or pipe down. It wasn't too long ago when I was uh, not so much working for myself, but I was uh, working with associates. I didn't really have, uh, we weren't as closely knit. But when I took on the job as appointment, um, it was, um, there was a certain degree of trust involved. We were all general pretty much general operators, general knowledge, if you will, general practitioners, if you will, and uh, a lot more blunt with the work, a lot more um, dead blow with the work, meaning that we agreed to a plan outside the door, and then once we stepped in, um, I made the first move. Uh, the rest of the team followed as secondary as support now this is when I was the point man this is just how I operated never really uh, had to eat shit too many times but can't toot my own horn either don't want to flex too fucking hard my papa hernia right because it, at the end of the day it is still a team effort I mean if it's just me operating by myself then that's just shit I'm not going to put on record but with a team essentially and you being the point man having that kind of trust having that kind of bond with your team requires you, or required me at least, so when we uh, turn that door handle or, you know, fucking kick the door in, the first one in, the point person, is just laying motherfuckers out. That's that's their job. And, And the job, the job might not literally be to lay motherfuckers out, right? The job might be to, uh, pitch an initiative to launch some kind of uh, program with uh, any number of individuals in the room. Could be a board to an organization, could be some chair people, could be some public officials, what have you. But I mean laying motherfuckers down as, as in putting in work, as in getting to work, as the point person, as soon as you crack the door, you're working, you're working the room. Is it theatrics? Eh, somewhat, because theatrics can be shattered. It's, It's confidence, you have to be sure of yourself. Otherwise, your face, your front is easily eroded with the heat of having all eyes in the room on you. Me as the point person, it was my job to start looking <laughs> to, st- to address everyone. Eyes first, right? One by one if I had to. But addressing everybody in the room. Just laying motherfuckers out. Spraying the room down folks who came in behind me they saw somebody who was left uh, breathing (laughs) who was left without being touched they would finish off even at the very beginning at the very beginning we were already closing we should be closing we ought to be closing always be closing that's the ABC's of hustling And 
but to do that requires a team of shooters, of killers, who are knowledgeable in their field as well as knowledgeable in the general task at hand who are up to speed on the same page on the same wavelength so no steps are missed no beats are skipped I'll be honest it's a little hard to orchestrate it is a little hard to orchestrate when everyone is not on the same page it's like yeah it's essentially like being a project manager but in a more localized more particularized manner and this probably sounds like <laughs> this probably sounds like the ramblings of a mad person but it's how I envision the field the field is war business is war it always has been it always has been when I came to that realization when I was when I was revealed onto that realization when that realization was revealed onto me I came to understand that uh, we're all soldiers to an extent and the point person is a very important piece to a group, to a formation. They are the first points of contact, not with the opposition, not with the enemy, just the first points of contact with the world. That's a lot of weight to bear. It's a lot of weight to bear. My job, when I was point person, when I was point man, my job when I was point man was to let the heat roll right off of me like water on the duck's back like I was hydrophobic like I was how do you say heat T temper phobic just not let it get to me not let it get to me in the least I was in there shooting first I was the first to say something. I was the first to introduce myself. Why? Because it sets the tone. It sets the tone. You let somebody else do the talking for you and then it's not you conducting the orchestra. That's what a point person does, essentially. The point person is the wedge. The point person is the hammer. The point person is the fork. The, the point person is the spatula. And the point person does that all, all on the turn of a dime. Again, it's, it's not hard when you have experience, but it's not easy when you have a team of, uh, of amateurs or novices. It's not easy. You must all be working in sync. If not, they have to be aces at improvisation. And I mean fucking aces. Otherwise, other members on the team have to improvise further to make up for the lack thereof, for the lack of improvisation on one party. And yeah, it's true to an extent that team is only as strong as its weakest link, but that doesn't mean that just because one member of the team missed one step or faltered or, God forbid, hesitated, doesn't mean that the rest of the team can't pick up that slack together. I mean, we're dealing with a team full of fucking killers. Can't hesitate when you kill. But if somebody on your team hesitates, it might become two bodies. And that all happens on the fly. The point person makes those calls. Maybe I did run on faith. Maybe I did run on blind trust, we'll call it. But really only on missions that I felt were righteous. Where I, I felt like I did not need to turn back 
and mind my team because I put faith in my team. I put faith in how we've trained. I put faith in how I trained them. I put faith in the instruction. I put faith in the process. I put faith in business. And I've said time and time again, you take care of business and business will take care of you. See, that's some corporate cowboy shit. Gonna wish you all a great rest of your week. If I don't talk back, if I don't reach back, a great rest of your week. And uh, it's great to have you around, somebody to talk to, <laughs> even if it is myself for the time being.